tap the red. Alright, so before using a tap the red, it's good to check whether the tip of the red is chipped or broken. Alright, check that there's no cracks on the red before using it. Alright, first of all, we will have to rinse the red with DRS water, right, in the sink. So scoot some DRS water into the red and give it a good rinse. Alright, then allow it to flush from the tap. Okay, before rinsing the top part of the burette by slowly turning the burette, cleaning the inner walls of the burette, and then you can then flush out all the water. Okay, remember to open the tap to drain off any excess DRS water. Alright, close the tap back. Now we will have to top up with the um, solution, but before topping up with the solution, you will first have to clean or rinse the burette with the solution provided. Alright, so Using a filter funnel. Alright, pour in some solution into the burette. Typically you need about 10 cm cube. Okay, remove the filter funnel. Okay, you are going to drain the burette. Okay, by rinsing the tap, uh, by opening the tap to rinse the bottom part. And similarly, as to rinsing with air water, all right, rotate the burette to clean the inner walls of the burette. Okay, and you can proceed to discard any all the remaining washing. Same thing, open the tap to drain off any excess solution. Okay, the tap the tap burette is now ready for use. All right, so. Okay, now top up the tap burep with the solution. Alright, for this topping up, you may want to top up be just beyond the zero cm cube mark. Okay, once you're done with that, all right, remove the filter funnel. Okay, in the next procedure, you will now drain to fill up the burette tip with the solution. Okay, while adjusting to read the burette, all right. For this, in this case, we are using KMN04 solution, so it's very darkly colored. Right, so the reading of the burette will be done at the upper level, not at the meniscus. Alright, so once you have a comfortable level, alright, and you check that there's no air bubble at the burette tip and the burette is not leaking, you are ready to go. Okay, you can then now clamp the burette properly on the record stand. Alright, and ensure that the burette rests properly on the two grooves of the clamp. Okay, and you're ready to use the burette for titration.